was going to drive. Now, actually, I'm going to drive. Let me hop in here. This is a Siesta Key. I'll turn the camera around and talk to you a little bit and explain what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're going to drive a little bit down Siesta Key Village. Uh, this is part of... Uh, Siesta Key is uh, right now currently ranked uh, America's second favorite uh, second top beach in the US by TripAdvisor and uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the the village part which to me is even more fun than than the beach this is the best way to see Siesta Key on a scooter well a boat might be even the best way but as far as the village area uh, the scooter is the best way and uh, we're gonna go down Siesta Key Village Fortunately, you can pre pretty much drive these with one hand. So here we go. And then this is where we got the scooter from. Just point it towards there. Um, on yeah. the, the front I, or the back? Yeah, 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 that's, that's good. So, yep. And uh, I'm, I'm going to walk around downtown for about like 15 minutes, then I'll turn in everything. Okay. So, all right, great, thank you. That's good. All right, that, that worked. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and walk down uh, the village and I'll show you some of the eateries. There's an eatery right here. This is uh, G G G Gilligan's Island Bar, very popular. And then this is a good place for coffee. Um, Mo Moho's uh, Risen, a uh, good place to start the day out in the morning with uh, coffee. And I think they got some miniature breakfast items you can get as well. And uh, let's jump over here across the street to one of the most popular places, if I don't get run over. One of the most popular places of Siesta Key, this is the Daiquiri Deck. The Daiquiri Deck. It's actually, it's owned by three people. And this morning on our boat tour, we, we went by the home of one of the three owners of Daiquiri Deck. And uh, it's neat, because on his house, he has a little deck platform at the top of his house. But uh, you, you'll see that on the video when we show the boat tour. But I'm just gonna walk around, try to pick the best side of the street, things that you might be interested in. This is the Siesta Key Oyster Bar. The Siesta Key Oyster Bar there. You can walk really the whole village area. I'd say it's it's definitely under a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile. Here's another popular, this is more of a quick place to get something to eat, a pizza and barbecue place. It's called Rick Fire Pizza and Barbecue. And uh, this place next to it is a little French cafe that was popular this morning. I think it's really popular for brunch, especially breakfast and lunch. They uh, they do pretty well. Um, so all right, and uh, now your typical souvenir place across the street there. So we'll walk real fast by it. Go Bales! Here's an ice cream shop.
most of these places have live music as far as the or not most of them, but a lot of them do. So if you like live music, seating in a courtyard, uh, Siesta Key is definitely the place for you. And uh, this is a nice kind of right at this is kind of the center of Siesta Key, at the corner corner of Canal Road and uh, Old Stickney Road, which is the main kind of the main street here. And this is the my, my Village Pub, but but it's got a real nice courtyard. It, it's slightly elevated, so you kind of get a, a good little view of the main part of Siesta Key, the, the road. The cottage has amazing food to your right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there's another breakfast place down further down here is another broken egg. So that's a good place for breakfast. Friends. All right. And then across the street here is the Hub Baja Grill. This is another kind of a tropical little uh, patio. That's really cool. And it's the Hub Baja Grill. But, uh, you know, I'm still trying to get used to the reading your comments and walking and not getting hit by a car, too. <laughs> so I don't mean to ignore you. But I appreciate you all chiming in. I do go back and try to look at those comments later. So across the street from the Baja Grill is the uh, Beach Club. So, so that's another good, got a little, not much of an outdoor seating place. And then if we go across the street, or not across the street, but on the same side of the street, attitude, no, don't look at the camera and you'll be fine. Uh, anyways, this is the Village Cafe on Siesta Key. It looks like it's closed. Unless I'm just in the wrong part of the place. Maybe it's a uh, breakfast and lunch deal. Yep, it must be. Oh, and then let me go across. Across the street here is where they have the farmer's market every Sunday. It's all gone now. It's just a parking lot right now. But the, the farmer's market takes place in this parking lot right here. It, it wasn't, you know, that big of a farm. I'd say there's maybe 20 tents, um, you know, jewelry and, and your typical stuff. But if, if you like those markets, every Sunday morning, it's right here. Oh, yeah, there's a good Cuban restaurant here, too. I want to show you, or I don't know, Italian restaurant. I'm sorry, Italian restaurant, Cafe Gabbiano. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, review of Anna Maria Island. Yeah, you know, I oh, in Brazil, God bless Brazil. You know, talk about Anna Maria Island. Um, I, I need to update that soon, too. Sarasota. Oh, the wine bar. I want to show you. This is the wine bar right here. And uh, uh, and then there's a Kilwins place, which where I got some ice cream earlier. Oh, oh, there's this bean coffee house. I was gonna get some coffee this morning, but there was quite a bit of wait, so I actually didn't do it for the video. And I'll close out the uh, video. And this is the Hub Baja Grill I showed you just a moment ago. Oh, it's a Z72. A Z72. This is our third day of four days of filming Sarasota and Siesta Key. It, it looks like it's it's going to be two main videos. Um, 
there's going to be the first video will be Sarasota and Lido Key, and then the second video will probably be uh, uh, Sarasota and Lido Key. Yeah, first video and second video Siesta Key and Venice. And with that, we're going to cover a lot of the great. There's the best beaches between here and Venice, like N Nacoma. Oh, Again, the Siesta Key Oyster Bar. And uh, so, so yeah, I, I'd recommend doing a, a scooter. Uh, for for one one of the disadvantages to Siesta Key is parking. Parking is just <laughs> a premium here. I mean, it's about fifteen to seventeen dollars for two hours. But it's to uh, park, uh, I think all day might be like twenty-five dollars. So just just be aware of that. And, and they are pretty much on the parking. I mean, it's hard to just park somewhere and get away with it. The parking lot I'm at, they actually threaten to to put a boot on your car. <laughs> at least as far as the sign says. So parking is just be aware of that with Siesta Key. Parking's not that great. Oh. And then we'll end it. We'll end our video here at the Fudge Factory, that is right next to the Scooter Plus. So, anyways, that's Siesta Key, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, film. We got another boat tour. I want to film their Sunset Cruise, which leaves at 4:30, and uh, so gonna, gonna gonna show you several boat tours on Siesta Key, like as well as Sarasota. And uh, anyways, thank you all. I hope you all are having a great weekend. And uh, I appreciate you all watching and uh, making comments. God bless you. Oh, is Florida safer than California? Yeah, yeah, definitely. No doubt about it. Uh, Florida is much safer than California. As, as a matter of fact, I'll just talk about that for a little bit. You know, Miami is one of the few big cities in uh in, in this country, in the last few years, where the crime has actually gone down. So, props to Miami. I mean, there's very few big cities to say that in the last couple of years. So, yeah, Florida is much, much, much safer than California. Now, I'm starting to do long versions of all of our videos. So, so with this video is going to be a Sarasota video, and then a Siesta Key in Venice video, and then on top of that. There's going, to, there's going to be a third video. It's going to be a long version where I'm I'm not going to narrate that third video. It's going to be there'll probably be some music added in, and then at other times just no music, just the sounds of nature, sounds of whatever is happening. So those will be like 30 minutes to an hour. So that that's something that's going to be good, especially for this video because there's so much beauty, just the nature and and the ocean and the trees. And uh, so I'm looking forward to starting to do those third long version videos. So, yeah, thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. And uh, you all have a great.